Hey coach, it's Bryce from Synergy. Today I'm gonna to be talking with you about user management. So uh, right now I'm actually recording this where we're in the middle of summer, um, all the coaches are out recruiting at the college level. Um, you know, everybody's get, resetting their Synergy accounts and getting ready for another season. Um, so there's a lot of questions going on about well, user management. My account's not working. How do I get my assistant accounts working? So on and so forth. So that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. So it's really, really easy. You'll go ahead and go into Synergy. You need your Synergy credentials. So if you're an account administrator, what you'll see is a tab up here that says users. If you're not sure what, if you are an account administrator, contact your Synergy rep or our support team and they can let you know. The easiest way to know is you have the user tab. So when you have the users tab, you click on it and there's a couple different filters that'll pop up right here. Um, I've got it set to all users right now so I can see who on the staff has access and who does not based on who has a, a name crossed off. So if your name is crossed off, they don't have access right now. Um, but if you wanna give those people access, you have a few things you can do. So right here, you can click this checkbox and then you can reactivate that user by clicking reactivate. And then you can hit yes. And that will just give them another year of synergy. Um, additionally, you can select everybody and reactivate everyone all at once and click yes. And then those people are now reactivated. If for any reason you need, you need to send someone a password reset, you can also do that too. Just click on their name again and do send password reset. You can also email people from here if you need to as well. Um, so it's pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Um, the main thing I just wanna hit on is you need to be an administrator in order to do this kind of thing. Um, real quickly, I do wanna show you how to create users too. So you might have some new coaches or some new players. It's really simple. Again, you're on the users tab, you click add. And you click add, you go in and uh, you can choose is it a player or a staff. And then um, what you'll do from there is you can type in their name. You'll definitely wanna make sure you include an email. It won't work if you do that. And then you just click add user. Don't worry about the expiration date. We'll set it for you. Everybody gets um, on the same sort of cycle in terms of their access for that yearly um, you know, subscription. So, uh, but that's really all you have to do. And then again, from that users tab, you can see all of your people. You can sort by players. Uh, you can sort by staff. You can see all users. You can see if anyone's expiration dates are coming up pretty soon by clicking expiration date. All these guys are set up for December 31st. Um, so very simple to do. If you have questions, make sure to contact support. Uh, you know, ask some, ask some questions in the comments below uh, and feel free to uh, reach out to your account rep as well. We're really looking forward to working with you again next season and we hope this helped. Thanks coach, bye-bye.